Uganda is among the African countries with the highest milk production growth rate of about 5.7 percent per annum. However, the dairy sector still grapples with numerous challenges that impede on the sector's potential to grow further. The liberalization of the importation of drugs and acaricides by government has put it on harm's way, says Theodore Sejikubo, the Luemiaga MP, Zimbabwe district. Now, it means that every Tom, Dick and Harry can import acaricides and, and uh, animal drugs in the country. And that is very dangerous because people bring in and unscrupulous traders bring in acaricides that are not tested or that are worthless. Without stringent measures to curb the importation and infiltration of substandard agricultural chemicals, Uganda's dairy sector will suffer more, adds the legislator. The well-connected persons have a free hand. The National Drug Authority is in limbo. It is not taking active inspection of these acaricides. And it ends up on the market because there is nobody to call them to order. And the result end is that farmers end up losing their animals. This was at a dairy farmers expo in Zimbabwe district organized by Fresh Dairy. Because not farmers, farmers have improved their animals through cross breeding, to increase meat production. But on doing that, they are faced with three challenges. The first one is the increase prevalence of livestock diseases, especially tick-borne diseases, uh, dry season feeding technologies, and discussed of water during the prior period. The initiative in one of Uganda's cattle corridors is aimed at sensitizing the farmers about the best practices in dairy farming, in addition to creating rapport, says John Gethy, the Fresh Dairy Director. If the farmers continue being doing business with us, then, then we are successful. But what is critical is that the farmers take away at least one idea and go and use it on the farm. Remember, it takes nine months for a cow to, to drop a calf after it has been inseminated, one, nine months. So the results of anything in agriculture, particularly da dairy farming, take time. Payout for farmers by fresh dairy rose from 24 billion shillings to 58 billion shillings in 2016. The value of exports also rose from 46 billion shillings to 64 billion shillings in the same year. Dennis Igoa and Robin Yoso for UBC Business.